this is the first tutorial on the ANSYS multiface and here the we need to make the geometry in the design molder for a simple pipe and the meshing in the ICM CFD for this case so I took a dimension from this model and I would implement this one in the in the ANSYS workbench so right click here and go to the new component system and uh, double click on the geometry cell number A2 to open the design modeler <coughs> okay choose the XY plane click on look at and go to the sketching uh, in the sketching panel select the circle and make sure when the point P you see that is uh, uh, this uh, our pointer is uh, is positioned at the origin of the coordinate system and then click uh, click over here and then drag the mouse to the required location so we are we are starting with uh, this geometry Our diameter is 0.15 so just go to the dimensions and click here the diameter tool and here it is uh, around uh, 9.53 so make it 0.15 now you need to move the dimension line to the circle so here we have the tool which is uh, move so just click on this one and hold the left arm button and drag it towards the this cylinder or circle done now go to the extrude tool and uh, extrude the geometry by the required dimension as you can see from here it's a point seven double one two so it's a point seven double one two click on generate and you will get the <coughs> this pipe now I'm going to make a plane at the uh, okay I think I should uh, uh, make it a symmetric model around the this plane so I would rather put the point one seven seven point seven one one two divided by two so it's a point three five five six point three five five six and then I will move it in the both directions you can check the 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 pipe length by this tool so entity one is the let's say this edge one or maybe a face one and second entity is face number two click and you find out that the distance uh, between two faces is 0.7112 as intended so this model is uh, perfectly okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a new plane uh, because I need a one pipe over here with the vertical to the upper uh, bring to this pipe so I need a plane that is basically uh, a plane parallel to the XY uh, sorry XZ plane so I will choose the CX plane over here and uh, I will just make a new plane and distance between the this new plane and the 
this old plane is uh, somewhere first let me take the coordinates of this point so here the C coordinate is a point zero 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 eight nine one nine eight four and the Z coordinate on the top of uh, this pipe is uh, point three seven so I will make it minus point three seven four six five it is from the center that's why I'm doing it 0.37465 so it is uh, something like uh, 0.37375816 okay so I will put the I need to make it copy uh, in the upper direction so I will transform this one in the Z direction 0 0.3737 0 0.3737 okay now question arises why I am putting the offset Z uh, because for the local dimensions this uh, XC uh, plane is basically uh, in the local coordinate system it's a, it's a X pi coordinate system so here x is x and the y is the z sorry here the x is z and the y is the x <coughs> so definitely the z would be in the in the global y uh, direction so that's why i put the offset z that is the third dimension in this plane third dimension this plane is uh, is neither uh, x nor, nor the z so the third dimension is going to be the definitely here uh, in the y direction so this is the x this is the y so third dimension which is z which is over here so point three seven three seven five eight zero one six okay click on generate uh, now i will choose uh, this plane and again i will make a circle again the same procedure but this time the diameter is uh, 0.1 as you can see from here 0.1 so I would put the dimension of the diameter as the 0.1 and again I will move the my dimension close to the geometry Okay, now I need to extrude this geometry. So again, I will use the extrude tool. Geometry is the same, and uh, this time the direction vector. This is okay. Okay, extend type is uh, to the next or to the surface. So choose the target face and apply not working ok no problem uh, as we know the distance which is the 0 0.3737 so I will put this value over here go to the next also try it not working okay so this has uh, worked <coughs> now if you want to see the uh, cross-sectional view you can choose this tool anytime and uh, using the mouse click press the left arm button and drag it along the geometry so this is the geometry we we wanted now save the project workshop one uh, this is a basic workshop 
this is the T junction okay now, now I will open the new project and uh, the same workshop one the T junction and I will open the geometry using the import model and I will go into inside the, inside the directory and I will locate for the geometry file in the design modeler click and apply and 